Hi guys, this is iOS Mac and Tech and today I'm going to show you a free alternative mode of recording your live sessions. For example, if on a, a stream to Twitch TV or YouTube, I will show you a free open source solution. So first thing to do is go ahead and open a browser and type in OBS. Now, uh, I will show you shortly this program. How does it look and everything? Okay, our OBS. It is called Open Broadcaster Software. And you click on the first link and it will take you to its website. And it's very interesting because it's free and you have a multi-platform solution. And I will show you what I'm talking about in a minute. So as you can see, it's available for Windows and Mac. The Linux version is coming soon, so stay put and you will have a free solution for that platform as well. So what I'm talking about, it's a free solution, doesn't cost anything. You have here some information, what exactly it is. Live streaming for all sorts of platforms. You can have output to MP4 or FLV. Now FLV is a flash video and on a Mac you only have flash video as far as I know. So it looks a bit scrambled right now or a mirror and mirror effect because I'm right now I'm recording my desktop. So if I minimize this it will be okay. Just to be on the safe side I will put an image here. Not on. Registriamo un tutorial. Ok, and this image will be overlaid here, so this won't bother you. Ok, it looks like this. So you can basically see all the settings, and I have here down scene, source, image, or display capture. You can switch between these, so if you put the image down or you move the display capture up, you will have this uh, awful effect again but that won't bother you if you minimize the program and you have a mixer input and this is a mic and a desktop audio alright now let's go to settings hopefully you will see you will be able to see my settings right okay just to be on the safe side I'm gonna switch back to this okay like this okay I have multiple languages, whichever language you speak from here, this list, you can choose that. If you're more comfortable with that, you can choose a streaming type, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. Put your streaming key and you're good to go. Output. You can put uh, your uh, full path there. I mean, where you want to download everything or the finished video will be stored. And you can only output to FLV. That means flash video. So, I put the bitrate to 5000, but you can play around with that. I will have a short uh, Counter-Strike GO gameplay featured at the end of this video, so you can see my set current settings and how does it look. I will tweak that to a much better result later. Alright, and rest of that should be stay. The rest of that should be the same. Uh, do not uh, touch those settings. Audio, regarding audio, I have a very important thing to tell you. So I use right here two solutions. Uh, whichever fits you best, you should try out either Soundflower or WaveTap, WaveTap, whatever it's called. And I currently use this WaveTap, and this is working for me right now. So you should use that. Okay, and regarding audio, that was the only thing, because uh, if you put default here, I don't think you can uh, record any audio. So, you should also choose your mic here. Mine is this one, Microphone Digital, but you can choose anything else. And your video source, and because now I'm recording, I don't have any options here, and also because of my setup, I don't have too many options there, but you can choose your FPS values and so on. Right, so 
this was a short demo you can do much much more with this if you peek around here and you have uh, what exactly do we have here so uh, let me change to the image right and if, okay we can see that so you have video capture device audio input uh, audio output and your desktop so display capture is your whole desktop and I advise you to start recording and then minimize that's the best solution now because you will end up with this awful effect all right either you are I don't know a gamer or you want to record a demo you should definitely go and check out this OBS open broadcaster software from this site obsproject.com and shortly I will demo a gameplay all right guys I am back and I will demo counter-strike global offensive and I'm going to play as a counter-terrorist and if you see any lags here this due because of the processing software processing and the conversion so I converted the flash video to a more appropriate format uh, I converted to a quick time movie and imported it into my video editor and I think that's why you can see some lags here but otherwise I recommend open broadcaster software for uh, live streaming whether it's a game or it's just a talk show or whatever you do with it I recommend using this open broadcaster software it's free and it's very nice and I have to confess some other thing I changed the video bitrate from 5000 as you could see uh, in my uh, earlier um, demo and I changed that to 2500 or 2500 so uh, about half I saw that the 5000 uh, video bitrate setting was causing some lags for me and therefore I, I cut it in half and right now I think it's working much better uh, like I said it's not laggy so if you check out your own flash video you will see that there are no lags but uh, if I convert this and I put it in an editor software it shows up laggy for me so I will have to see the final product and if it's lagging a bit in the final product final video output uh, I don't know uh, I just have to play around with the settings more but uh, the only thing is it puts out to a flash video format on a Mac otherwise on a Windows platform it might work perfectly with uh, mp4 or other formats that it's supporting how to play to your strengths here on YouTube that and more in this episode is there a proper way to do tags here on YouTube that and more in today's episode <laughs> 